Hey everyone. Okay, so um, you built your armature, right? Like this. Uh, you've done your measurements, your five measurements, so you know what those are. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add and bulk out the head so that way this mask is gonna fit your head. Okay, it's pretty simple. Uh, you just need knife or scissors. Um, you need that tape measure, whatever you measured your head with in the first place, because you're going to use those measurements again. Uh, and you're going to need the tape measure to, to uh, measure your head as you build. Uh, you're going to need some tape. I suggest packaging tape or duct tape. Okay. <clears throat> and then you're going to need bubble wrap. Okay. Just the normal bubble wrap, or you could get, uh, there's like white packaging foam. You could use that too. That's really good for adding real thin amounts. Uh, but bubble wrap is really good at getting you there very quickly. But it also lets you bring it around the surface and uh, you know kind of make a consistent uh, amount that you add all the way around. So I'm going to show you. I'm just going to demonstrate um, with really large bubble wrap. Okay. I wouldn't use this because, unless you want to add and you know. If you have a gigantic head and you want to add a lot really quickly. So, what I would do is I would just cut strips to start out with. Get a piece of tape. Start it on one side of your bubble wrap like this. Okay. And then you're going to maybe put it across the forehead if that's the area that you need to make larger. Okay. And then you're going to wrap that tape all the way around and you're going to make it, <clears throat> make it nice and tight. Okay, so now that you wrap that around the head, see I'm starting to add volume to this already, okay? So I'm going to take another piece. Now what you want to do is kind of tape the whole thing down. You want to cover the whole area of that bubble wrap with tape. And as you do that, you're going to pull things tighter and make it nice and round to the head. So, just like this. Boom. Okay, you see that? And you're just going to take this all down, and it's all going to smooth out real nice, okay? And then you're going to re-measure your head and see where you're at. And, hey, you're right on. You're done, okay? If not, make sure that you don't have, like, crazy big bumps and weird stuff going on. It doesn't have to be perfect, but try to be a pretty consistent and make your head not lumpy, because you don't want a lumpy head. Okay, so, after you've kind of got it taped down, you're like, okay, this is good. This looks good. And then you measure it, and it's too big, right? That's okay. Very simple. Take your knife or your scissors. Check this out. This is why I use bulb wrap. This is super fantastic, okay? So I'm like, oh, you know what? This is too big right here. See that? It's like bumping out of the head. Like it's huge, right? I'll just take this and I'll just cut that down. Look at that. Now I've got it flat. And I can take it down like that. So, if you overbuild, don't be concerned because all you have to do is puncture some of those holes in the bubble wrap and you can tape it flat and you can go, go down a little bit and come back and go down a little bit until you get what you need. So, no worries, this is super simple. I know it sounds kind of weird and difficult, but it's not. You're just adding, making your armature as big as your head and that's it. You know, if you uh, find that the nose is too small, you could roll up some bubble wrap or like fold some cardboard over and make like a, a nose out of it and then just tape that on and then cover that with tape. So don't be too concerned about how perfect it is, but you do want those measurements to be very close because if they're not, it's not going to fit quite right. So um, like I said, just take your bubble wrap, fill it out with some tape, tape it down nice and tight. This one's already done and ready to go. Okay. That was, I was just showing you how to use it. But it's smooth. I've taped all the edges down, made sure it's all sticking together. When I run my hands across it, the tape isn't sticking to me. I can feel that it's all covered with tape and there's not bubble wrap. Uh, until next time, can't wait to see what you have. And uh, subscribe, questions, comments, whatever you need. So uh, I'll try to help you out. And uh, until next time, have fun and enjoy building this. It's going to be awesome. See you. Coffee break. Out.